Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I wanted to go over um, the importance of uh, setting goals and uh, making ongoing goals is what I like to call it in fitness. Alright, so let's start. Um, short-term goals. A couple of examples that you can have of short-term goals. Um, you know, like lose 10 pounds, gain 10 pounds if you're looking to lose weight or gain weight. Um, lift more weight in a certain exercise like bench press squat or if you want to just do more reps of a certain exercise um, that's just some typical short-term goals um, and these short-term goals um, another way you can look at it is the short-term goals are before you even go to the gym you can plan out the gym at, you know the day at the gym before you even go to the gym now say for example I'm gonna have a leg day alright I'm gonna think of all the workouts I'm gonna do in my leg day okay and I'm gonna think about how many different exercises I'm gonna do how many reps I'm gonna do of roughly what weight and that will be my very very short-term goals and I'm gonna try to accomplish those goals in that workout okay now every time I complete these goals in my workout um, I try to beat them next time or I try to if I didn't accomplish them I'll try to attain them next time I go and do my legs day for example um, like like another example I um if I do like bench press say I'm gonna do bench press okay my goal for the day would be let's say three sets of 250 pounds at 12 reps alright let's say I went there I did that uh, I only got to do eight reps of three sets okay so I didn't get to complete it so I'll just gonna keep working at it you know it might take the next session or the next session after that to complete it but eventually I'll get to that goal now let's say for I did three sets of 14 reps alright I would change the goal by increasing the weight maybe like five ten pounds or by adding another set of 12 reps that way it you know it makes the difficulty much harder so next time I'll go I'll have something higher to attain that's how you get progress and uh, another way you can do it is um you can change your rest times so if I take like one minute to you know two minutes two and a half minutes in between sets I can decrease that 30 seconds 45 seconds and it'll make it a lot more difficult and taxing on my system for me to actually complete that that's just another way you can do it um, now for beginners in fitness alright you need to make your short-term goals reasonably attainable okay so what I mean is this, you just started like a weight loss program. Don't expect to lose like 20 pounds in the first week. It's, it just doesn't work that way. Or if you just started lifting weights, that you'll be able to bench two, 300 pounds after you work out for a month or two. It, it just doesn't work that way. You have to set goals that are going to be reasonably attainable, but yet not too easy. That's, that's your first step. And you have to, you know, I mean, you got to learn to walk before you can run. So don't be discouraged if the results come slowly. I mean, it does take a while. Rome wasn't built in a day. All right, so that's some of the short-term goals. Uh, Long-term goals could be like getting a six-pack. Um, you know, you lose X amount of pounds, gain X amount of pounds, you know, more than 10 or 20, uh, depending on what your goal is. Uh, you know, reach a certain amount of weight that you can do on certain exercises, squats, yet again, bench press, stuff like that. If you're into that, or amount of reps, it can just be a much higher amount that'll be much in the future, you know, six to a, six months to a year. Uh, build up certain muscles or groups of muscles, you know, if you want to tone them up, you want to make them bigger, you want to make them stronger, stuff like that. Or just getting in the best shape of your life could be a goal. And that can be something that you try to attain, and that'll help you push further and further every day to try to reach that goal. Um, making the long-term goals, I think you need to make them based on the fact that they need to be milestones for you. Because when you reach them, it'll feel like you've accomplished something major. I mean, you can't. the short-term goals are the little steps that m make you get up to the milestone. So I think that the milestone needs to be the far away one. And that's the one that keeps you driving to get all these little goals out of the way. Because, you know, every little goal that you do will bring you closer to that milestone. Now, a couple of tips I have for you guys when you're making these goals. Um, first of all, I think before you even start, I think you should take some pictures of yourself, okay? Just so you know where you're at later on. When you complete a lot of these goals, you'll be able to look back and see where you're at. To see what your progress you've gotten. Um, another thing, record your weight. You don't need to do this all the time, but I suggest just doing it at the day when you take pictures of yourself, just so you know what you weigh. And then, another thing is, put roughly how much you can do, like, for, uh, weighted exercises. Um, 
like what how much weight you can do and how many reps for example like bench press squats and leg press and for people who don't go to the gym see how many times you can do like sit up squats uh push ups pull ups stuff like that and just have all of that recorded that way you can go back and look and say wow i can only do 5 push ups back then you know that type of stuff and i uh, put it all in like a little journal and just keep it all together and i would say don't even look at the pictures and stuff like that for at least 2 to 3 months just so you can go back and see what you you know what you used to look like and see the the progress that you've gained um so i hope you guys understand the importance of uh making goals you know towards your fitness goals and uh thanks for watching have a good day